this is a planetary system in Excel. It is uh, one of the most advanced I have ever built. It uh, has uh, three planets only, but um, and the planets, of course, uh, in this case, they move in two dimension in X, O, Y plane. The the model is a three dimensional model. You have this. Uh, Altitude, the possibility to change the altitude, the azimuth, and uh, you are watching a perspective converted image. So a 3D to 2D conversion. What you are watching here is the UV image. The model can be uh, run in few modes. First, there is the demo mode. You can hit demo and watch the model going through, I believe, 12 configurations. You can watch here at D, D3 or e, e, E3. See the configuration number. Um, now is 5, configuration 5, configuration 6, configuration 7, configuration 8. See, they're all a little bit different. Configuration 10 now, 11, and 12. Well, there is a 13, it seems. And then goes to 1. Or you can also run it into in a run, regular run. You can reset and run here. You can stop it. You can change the, change the configuration number from this button. Hit load configuration. It starts automatically. You can, can pause it. You can reset it. You can start it from zero. You can pause it again. You can start it from the same point. Either way. Or you can change these numbers, these initial conditions, masses, initial coordinates, and initial speeds. And, um, then you can hit the same button and run it. A few other things you can change is the density of the planets. If you, you can see if the density is small, you can see the planet bigger. So with the way you want to see the planets bigger or smaller, the size is proportional to the mass and inversely, inversely proportional to the density. You can change the trail pitch, the distance between two consecutive markers in the trail. You can change the simulation time step and the decimation of the trail, which means how many. Um, actually, this is not the decimation of the trail, it's the decimation in the simulation. Simulation calculates step by step, but you can display only, in this case, the fifth step. And the simulation will look like it's progressing much faster. For, your, for the eye, it's really not necessary to display every single point enough to display every second, third, or fifth point. You can adjust this from one. Let's start with one. You see it's much, slow, it's much slower now. Or to five. It's much, much faster. Five times faster. So, um, these are the, this is the interface. Let's start it again. You can uh, change the gravitational constant here. Which is of course not realistic a realistic number. Would you like a hundred? You can change the size of the axis, make them small uh, large or small. You can change the the size of the letters X, Y, Z near the arrows. With the, the, the markers, the axis markers. And uh, Again, I think you have up to 30 configurations here. 12 are already already saved. You can override them if you want, but let's say you, you find a configuration you like, or you build it yourself. You choose a number between 1 and 30, and save configuration. Then next time, if you want to retrieve, to, re to start the, sim the simulation with those numbers, 
with those parameters, you can hit the load configuration. So get to the number you want to load by clicking this button and then hit load configuration. Okay. Go to configuration 6, load configuration. Okay. Configuration 5, 5, load configuration. Configuration 4, load configuration. So this is a model. Uh, you can download it for free at excelunusual.com. Come over, leave a comment. Um, you can find also a lot of tutorials there. Thanks for watching.